Miss Sarah. Lovely to see you. Mm, great. Hi, Come how are you? Good. Hi. Hi. How are you? All right. Mm, you good. Nice to see you. So, going it alone. Yes. How is it? Scary. Is it? No. <laughs> yeah. Well, after all those hits and everything? Um, it's good, but music's in my veins, you know, it's always going to be there. So, whether or not the band carried on, I was always going to carry on. But um, it's just taken a little time because... It has, I was going to say, because all the rest have done their solo stuff and you're the yeah. last one to try it. I guess, I mean, it's not that I haven't been working on material. I have been for a long time, but it's just that I've never felt like what I've been working on has been right or at okay. the right time. And then I just decided to scrap it all and start again at the beginning of this year. And I just felt I need to go back to my, my sort of rockier roots because okay. growing up with a, a sort of musicians in my family and, and singing with them and their bands, I guess it was just... There. OK. Are you, are you quite critical of your, your stuff? Very. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm my own worst critic, definitely. But that's definitely. a good thing in this industry. You've been around for so long. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but that, that, that's a compliment. You know, I've just uh, told no, you. Having all... said that, 13 yeah. years. Yeah. yeah. That's scary. I remember I know. watching it. But, but also, uh, all, all those hits mm -hmm. that you've had, you know, you, you've, you've been on the, the huge platforms, you've performed in front of thousands of people. Is this like almost like starting again, then? It is a little bit, yeah. It's kind of like starting out. Um, well, because, yes, I'm on my own. I don't really know what to say. It's, it's, a, it's a new adventure. Uh, and what do you want people to take away from this new music of yours? Well, because I've, I've written this mainly, it's all about me, my life experiences. I'm hoping that it helps inspire other people, maybe if they go through similar situations that I might have been through in the past or... Um, I mean, you'll, you'll see when you listen to the EP, it's not, it's not all quite as hilarious as, as my first single. There's a more upbeat track on there and there's also a, a big heartbreaking ballad. I mean, every girl can relate to a heartbreaking ballad. I'm sorry, but they can. And man as well. And man, and man. <laughs> so, you know, it's got a real mixture on there. And uh, because I started only this year, I started again and I wanted to be more cre creatively involved in the process and write more and, and help on the production side. It's, I only had time really to get an EP because if I didn't do it this year, I never would. Right. No, true. You mentioned uh, you've always sung and there's lots of music in the family. You, your father was a session musician, wasn't yeah, he? Well, he had a, yeah, well, I grew up in, in and out of my dad's studio, singing with him or my brother and his band or getting up singing Mustang Sally and all sorts. <laughs> yeah, I was never Was that your favourite song, then, was it? Uh, yeah, my friends have barred me from singing that now because I just, I just go to town on it. <laughs> I just over-sing it okay. every time. <laughs> you, you, you've done such a lot within your career. We talked about Girls Aloud earlier on. It, you know, is musical something that you'd like to do in the future? Um, phew, Treading the boards is scary. Really, is scary. It's um, fun. Is it? It's fun. It's it's yeah. I suppose you're hard work. On, I bet you're on adrenaline, and it's eight shows a week, isn't it? Yeah. I know Kimberly's done that, and it and it is hard work. I don't know. I I just love doing m the mu music. You it's... talked about the films. Uh, you've done films with and without your girls' loud pals. Uh, yeah. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. I, actually, my favourite one I did was Centurions. Right. It must have been. I really, really enjoyed that. It was a laugh a minute. That, I mean, mm. with uh, Rupert Everett playing the headmistress <laughs> in drag, and it was just oh, honestly, he it was, was so fun. funny. My daughter loves them. So funny, and obviously <clears throat> we had some there was some great actors and actresses and cameos in that film as well, and the girls were great. And it was just like one big party. It was great fun, and it, obviously it was work. Yeah. And um, it was. You've got to enjoy what you do, though. Yeah, Otherwise, it's good. I think it comes across. I even took my. my we called them um, Banoffee Coffee Breaks. I used to make Banoffee Pie for everyone and bring see? it up into a trailer. You see, you, you two have got like. two things in common. <laughs> yeah, uh, cooking. You've, you've got uh, cooking and curry in, in common. Um, I'm not going to dwell on, on the curry. Um, uh, <laughs> did you enjoy it? I did enjoy it. You know what? As long as I enjoyed it, that's what matters. I, I know, and also, you know, lots has been said in the press, uh, well, some of the press and lots of social media, but that's always going to happen. You can't please everyone exactly. all the time. Exactly. It's been, it's been well noted. You can't please everyone, especially no. when you're a known face. Well, I, I, so, well I'll tell you one thing. The there thing. are many people yeah. queuing up to slap Tracy, and you did a, <laughs> you did a cracking job at did it. Did you slap her? I haven't yeah. seen it. Yeah, yeah. Well, well done. I threw a pram through a window once, no but way. I didn't slap her. Oh. Yeah. Well, I've got to say, uh, good on you for, for, for doing it. I'd love to be in Listen, at the end so, of the day, yeah. I mean, it's my favourite soap and my mum's favourite soap because they're, they're all from up north as well. Yeah, and have uh, done it. And I've done it. And I yeah. can say I've ticked that box. And, yeah. you know, it was only a short stint and I didn't... I had my music coming up anyway, yeah. so... And, and also, MasterChef, you were great, although you, 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 don't, you don't like to follow a recipe, do you, girl? You like, you like to put your own spin oh on it. Oh, my God, I call it do Manic you? Chef. I, yeah, well, I, I don't really take recipes out of it's books. brilliant. I kind of... I put my own spin on things and sometimes, because... I was rushing, I forgot to taste certain things. <laughs> I nearly choked poor Greg. 
Oh, no. I've had too much sesh fun on the, on the chicken. I'd never cooked Asian food before, but I, I lifted one of the challenges was lift up this potato sack. There was a chicken and a pear, and I thought, hmm, I saw noodles, I saw coriander, I saw Szechuan. I went, okay, I'm going to hack this chicken up and make it salt and pepper uh, Szechuan chicken. And I didn't realise how strong Szechuan can be. I've only ever had it when I've ordered my own Chinese. In there food. you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he'll ever have taste buds again, the poor oh, man. Oh, God, I nearly poisoned the poor guy. Hey, listen, you're, you're growing your own stuff now as well. You live I in the do. country. I do. I have oh, vegetable for a patch. While. I have that, yeah. Oh. I got myself a couple of sleeper beds, and um, at the moment, I've only got one in use. Um, I've got a lot of root vegetables, but it has been more lively in the past. I've grown a lot more <laughs> when I've been there. Okay. But I haven't had time to tend it. My mint's taken over. It's kind of grown all over my carrots, oh, my beech, yeah. my leeks, everything. There's See, this everywhere. is a side of you that I, I'm sure <laughs> no one expects, really, especially when you look so glamorous all the time. But there you are, getting oh, your hands no. dirty. Once I get home, I'm, I'm literally, I'm, I'm in my, I, I just slob out, and I just get, get the old gloves on, get the hands dirty. It doesn't Brilliant. bother me. Uh, wh why was it so important for you to move out to the country? Why did you I, want that I change? I just think in your life? I was, I was just a bit, I was just grown out of the fast-paced lifestyle of being in London, to be honest. I mean, I turned 30, and I just thought, oh, I'm knackered now. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. A lot of people do that. No, <laughs> no, but you live in the country thought, already. You know what? It, you know, <laughs> being, in, being in a pop band, you're on the go all the time. You're burning the candle at both ends. And I just thought, you know what? Enough's enough. I just want to settle down. Where, where would you like to see yourself in, in five years? Oh, in five years, hopefully, I'd like to think I'd settle down and have a couple of little babies and maybe a hubby. Uh, well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Babies first. <laughs> no, I do things the right way around. I mean, my mum's Catholic. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't know. I just want to be settled and hopefully still doing music. If I'm not doing music in front of the camera, I'm sure I'll be doing it behind the camera because it's my passion. Good on you. Yeah. Well, listen, you're going to perform for us today. Yeah. Two live tracks. Can't ah! wait. Um, if you want to go and make your way to I the band... I don't pick the easiest songs, by the way. Well, that's oh, good. Well, geez. one of them's yours. So it's your own well, fault. I know, I know. <laughs> anyway, thank, love to meet you. And you. I'm really looking thank forward you. to it. Thank you for thank singing you for us as well. Much. Really Take lovely care. to see you. Thank you. Mwah, Thank kids. you. Oh, kiss as well. <laughs> From Girls Aloud. So excited. Uh, singing her debut solo single, Threads. This is great. It's Sarah Hardy.
Give me a cover of the Jess Glynn number one hit single, Hold My Hand. It's Sarah Harding. <laughs> I'm ready for this. 